All right, going to do a little walk through the garden. I'll be mulching this later. As you can see, there's no mulch in here, but my plan is I got plenty of oak trees. We've been having some good wind over there in the corner. You can probably see it later across the ground and over here to the left. I'll be raking that up, mulching the, the garden with it. Starting to get a little bit warmer days. I think next week we're expected to have a couple cold days, and that's probably going to be it for us. But right here, I got a row of cabbages. I haven't really got the heads forming on them yet. They're kind of starting to close in. Well, I'm going to get in here and weed it before I mulch it. Like I showed in my other videos. Got some cauliflower in here. I haven't seen any heads growing on them. So I don't know if these are going to take. Yep, yep, we got a little bit of, of uh, cauliflower growing in there. Now I'm going to let them things stay nice and tight and closed on there. Some people tie them off. I don't really feel the need to, but this one I probably will. Uh, it's got a nice nice cauliflower head on it, but you want to keep those uh, cauliflower out of the sun, or otherwise they'll just turn a color. It doesn't hurt anything on taste. Got a, one of my Brussels sprouts survived. Got little sprouts growing in there, starting to form. <clears throat> the chickens got my got a hold of my other ones in the front bed where I had to build the cages, but got some iceberg lettuce growing here. That should be tightening up. I'll probably pick some of the leaves off of that. Somehow I got a weird type of lettuce here. I think it got mixed up in the lettuce. Got another head of lettuce here. Got some good heads forming on my broccoli. These are about ready to pick. That's two, three, four, five. And I got one over there as well. Right here I got some uh, collard greens, two different types. Love my collard greens. Had some the other day. Gonna pick some more, but they're growing in good. Gonna wait for that cold snap come through. But got some nice, nice leaves here. You can see. So they're gonna make some good greens. And I'll do a video on how I cook them up because they're delicious. More collard greens, collard greens. Like I say I got a couple different varieties in there. Uh, these are all collard greens, and then over here, this guy's ready. As you can see, there's like starting to get a little bit of uh, yellow on there. That's uh, a sign that it might start to bolt, and I don't want that. I want to get the broccoli before. So then I got another head, another head of broccoli, another head, another head, another head. Right here, got the celery. Yeah, excuse me, I got a little flu or something coming on or something causing me to sniffle. But uh got celery growing here and then I showed in other videos I got some more garlic. And over here, dragon fruit's doing nicely. I just retopped it off. I got a little cage built around it, mainly to keep the chickens from scratching out, but also I'm building up the soil base around the bottom letting it grow up this trellis i need to paint this thing mainly just because i don't want it rotten but i'd gotten that from one of my customers and then i just kind of modified it and i got the dragon fruit growing over the top got the dragon fruit from a customer i got tons of it over here i need to repot and i just kind of threw it in there and it's still doing eh, halfway decent these are doing really good i built this dragon fruit rack trying to Get these dragon fruit to come up through the top. Eventually they'll all be like this and it'll be hanging all over, have dragon fruit all over it. So I got my compost tumbler. I'm about ready to take that and put it back into the the other compost pile over here that I that I turn up with my chickens and put feed and branches and whatnot and let the chickens tear it down, build it back up. I just restacked it today, so probably after this time, I'll let them knock it all the way down and take my compost compost tumbler and uh, dump that into the pile. Once they level it back down, I'll put the compost out of the tumbler on top of that, pile it back on top, then I'll cover it with a tarp and let it do its thing, get some good worms and whatnot in there, get it chilling, and then I'll let the chickens have at it again. But got my rosemary here. All I need is one bush of this. I keep it snipped and use it. Provides all of my rosemary that I need. And again, I got my pineapple. Pineapples going here. So haven't got any pineapples off of them, but I did get these from my uh, one of my customers. Four of them, and then uh, this one over here is one that I first put in here. And some of these other ones takes about three years. These have only been like a little less than two. 
So I've probably got a little bit to go before I start getting anything off of that. Right here, got my lime tree. That is started. But once I get my compost pile done, this whole area right here, I'm going to start getting ready for my spring crops and summer, summer crops. I'll probably put some corn over here, put some okra. Looking forward to that. And over here, got some chives and some flowers. Get some pollinators coming. And I'll plant some more flowers over in the corner over there like I always do. It helps attract pollinators and butterflies and whatnot. All right, that's it. <coughs> Garden's <coughs> looking really good, and I'm actually pretty pleased. And uh, I'll show a video later when I use the mulching with the leaves, the oak leaves. So this will all turn to brown oak leaves. And then, of course, after I, after I harvest all this, then I'll till that all into the soil and just can keep the process and building that soil. So... And that's all we have. Have a good day.